Uh, almost five seconds after we stopped recording the last episode. You may remember the last episode because it contained like five minutes of us fucking trying to log into fanfiction.net. Yes, that was me. Anyways, uh, Anubis is insisting that, that we read Crazy Egypt. In which Bastet, Anubis, and Wepwawet become friends. There's a war in Egypt and the trio play Truth or Dare. Let's just say crazy stuff happens in Egypt. <laughs> no, it just says, let's just say crazy stuff happened in Egypt. Oh, uh, happened. <laughs> chapter one, The Funny Dare. That is an amazing <laughs> chapter title. I'm loving this already. It's dare. <laughs> in a majestic temple decorated with red and gold walls filled with the dra filled with drawings of the Egyptians offering stuff to their so-called gods was chaos. Bombs were going off every second. It was a war going outside. Yet Ra's youngest daughter, Bastet, was looking quite bored. Uh, where is the trio when you need him? She thought. She had long, black, silky hair. Her eyes were a bright lime green color. Her robe was gold and white, and it went all the way to her feet. She wore a... <laughs> On her shoulder was... A... fishness. <laughs> <laughs> On her shoulder was a tattoo of a black cat with Bastet's eyes. Every god was there. Even the beetle-headed god was there. Everyone was looking quite interested, especially... You mean John Lennon? Especially Sekhmet, the god of warfare. Then Bastet noticed something. Where is Wepwawet, Anubis, and Hathor? I am fairly certain <laughs> that this author is not a native English speaker. I, you know? They're not, they're not, they, I, there's just like the slight offnesses. Look, if you're it not, like if this is not, that's fine. I respect you for speaking two language. The, but if you, I think if, just, if you do speak one language and you're just being lazy, I think this author might just be using like Google Translate or something. Uh. They should be here, especially if there is a war. Oh great, they left me here to rot in boredom. Wait, why does the beetle-headed god have a mischievous look on his face? She thought. How do you tell if a beetle-headed person That's has exactly a mischievous what I was look going on their face? Sorry, mischievous. Mischievous. She thought. Then a deafening scream was heard. Why did you put this fleas in my room? A voice asked. Stop dropping my goddamn magnets! Stop holding my goddamn magnets! Your magnets are fine. Put them away! Okay, why did you open a new tab? Hold on, I need to... Hathor! Who's, who's Hathor again? Boots. You forgot who Hathor was? Yes. Pre also, who's, who's Wepwawet? Wepwawet is the one that's like the freaking, like, yeah. Anubis, but girl? What? What? Oh. Wait, hold on. Go. War deity. War deity. War deity. Sorry, it's been a long Warfare time. Warfare and hunting. Basically, she's Artemis, but a dog. Uh. It wasn't me, a second voice exclaimed. Great, I found Anubis. Then why were you in my room? Hathor asked. I thought I heard someone in here, Anubis replied. Did you ever hear the saying, Curiosity killed the cat? And Hathor the rest said, of that, where it was... Curiosity then, killed the bat, killed the bat cat, but it so, so, something else brought it back. The, 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 satisfaction. Satisfaction brought it back, yeah, that's it. Curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. Uh, first of that was made, first of that was made because Bastet sunk Atlantis. Since she didn't oh, no, no, I think that's supposed to be first off, that was made because Bastet sunk Atlantis because he did, she didn't know what it was. And then sunk it and people didn't know if she was alive. Secondly, I had protective instincts, so I came in. This is going to be one of those kinds of fanfics. <laughs> Where the characters actually say their character motivations out loud. Oh, God, I hate these. He, he replied, replied, Now that made Bastet, now that made Bastet smile, smile and, and giggle. giggle. Oh, my God! <laughs> A little bit. Everyone sighed except the beetle beetle headed. I will slap you! Except the beetle-headed god, he fell on the floor laughing. When everyone glared at him, him. he shut up. Why the fuck does he keep referring to it as a beetle-headed god? Because he's the beetle-headed god. Does he have a name? The beetle-headed god. Beetle-headed Egyptian god. Ke Kepri! You could have looked that shit up! That name, Kepri. You literally just have to look up beetle-headed Egyptian god and you find fucking Kepri! I'm sorry, we're a little rusty on our friends that we knew. Everyone... 
I, I don't know no. what you fucks call us. Anyways, everyone sighed except the beetle-headed god, who fell on the floor laughing. When everyone glared at him, he shut up. It happened every week or so that Anubis was always in trouble and that the beetle god actually did it. At first, everyone laughed and then it started to get boring, so everyone got tired of him. Even Ross suggested throwing him into the sun. We will deal with him later, but there is a war going on outside. Ross had stressed enough that there was a war, and now he had to take care of whatever his name is. I know where Anubis and Hathor are, but where is Wepwawet? Bastet thought. Psst, Bastet, come here. A wolf-headed god whispered scream. A wolf-headed god whispered scream in the temple's hallway. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. But if oh, you close shut your up! Eyes, I will kill you! Because they almost feel like nothing's changed at all. And if you close your eyes... <laughs> oh, Jesus, stop. 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 A wolf-headed god whispered scream in the temple's hallway. Okay, stop. <laughs> Best day quick to stop her boredom happily walked over. This is like Uncanny Valley, but like... <laughs> in writing. <laughs> He turned back into his human form. He had gray hair and gorgeous blue eyes. He had a kind of goofy look to his face that could make anyone laugh. Where were you, Bastet asked, looking at his broken leg and bruises all over his body. I... Stop laughing. Wep away. for this essay was really informative. And Shut up! <laughs> Sorry. Wep away said as he heard a laugh coming from Bastet's direction. Continue, Bastet said as she finally started to come down. Well, I started to follow Kepri... NOW THEY'RE CALLING HIM FUCKING KEPRI! Wepolet started, but was interrupted as Bastet blurted, So that's what the beetle-headed god was named! I'm the pharaoh's daughter, and I don't even know his name! Why the fuck didn't she know his name? Into Hathor's room, and then I left the room to walk and chew a dog bone, but I didn't notice I walked outside onto the street! Uh -huh. I heard a big engine roar, but I could tell by how the ground moved it was a huge truck. Uh, who was saying? I don't know. Oh, is this supposed to be during, like, the modern war? I... Then a big monster truck ran over me. I need you to use your healing powers to help me so we could finish our game of Truth or Dare, Wepo Wep finally finished. <laughs> Dude, Fine, there's but... a war going on, but we gotta finish Truth or Dare. Get the bottle! Fine, but you're going to pay me. Big time. Bastet replied. Eh, I owe everyone gold, diamonds, and American money. Where are you? Wepo Wep shrugged as if it was nothing. Bastet <laughs> closed her eyes and then focused her mind on his injuries. What? So she would, opened her eyes isn't Wepowit a girl? Uh, when she, then she opened her eyes. Wepowit injuries were gone. Wepowit injuries <laughs> were gone. She suddenly had bags under her eyes and a youthful face. She had looked older. Just again, if this is your second language, it's no, no, oh, yeah. don't feel bad about it at all. And it's the fine. youthful face she had looked older. The playful look in her eye disappeared, which was filled with stress, tiredness, and despair. Your injuries took so much energy. Can I sleep first? Best at slouching in motion, this voice. Is slouching a, like, a talking verb? I thought it was like a movement verb. Like the way I am right now. Can I read a, a line? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> right down here. Okay. Definitely, Wepoet said, worried that his friend was... Oh yeah, you should read me. Yeah. Wepoet said, worried that his friend was hurt or even worse. Or even worst. Best that entered her room and slept. In three, two, one. As on cue, Hath Hathor came Five, out of her room. Four, three, two. Hey guys, welcome to iCarly. We're going to go As on cue, Hathor came out of her room and grabbed the beat up looking random dancing and grabbed the beat up looking Anubis by his ear and dragged him to the oh. bathroom. Hathor was probably one of the prettiest goddess. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Paranatural? Uh, Why Paranatural? Hold on, let me just go to the archive. Uh, yeah, this is... It's in Secret Shortcut, I think. Uh, a little bit too far. A bridge too far. Oh yeah, here it is. Just kidding. I ain't gonna beat you up. <laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> it's just as bad. <laughs> Why'd you do that, though? Anyways, we're gonna continue. Oh, I get it. 
As on cue, Hathor came out of her room and grabbed a beat-up-looking beat up, beat up Anubis by his ear and dragged him to the bathroom. Hathor was probably one of the prettiest goddesses. Her hair was dark brown and her skin was a milky brown color. Her eyes were a honey color. She had a petite, curvy body. And she was wearing a long leather black dress and beautiful black boots. And black, black! <laughs> Uh, Hathor wore a beautiful red gown, and she had bows and arrows on her back. Ew. Like, actual ones? She's, like, poking out of her back, like, like growing there. Anubis had shaggy black hair and dark olive green eyes. His skin was almost... Pretty Give me my fucking charger! Fucking drop my microphone! And also, I have black skin. You... D no, this is, like, human forms of the gods. That's just the kind that they're, like, drawing and shit on the walls. Shaggy black hair and dark olive green eyes. His skin is almost honey-colored. Everyone's skin is apparently almost honey-colored. That's how humans Every uh, Honey color is a color now. What are you doing, Hathor? Wepoet asked, raising a brow. Oh, I'm just shaving Anubis' head. No problem. Also, I'm disliking this, like, oh, the most beautiful ones are the ones that are white for Egyptians. Also, I saw a post today on Tumblr, it was about, um, Cleopatra, you know, and how, like, uh, like, Europeans whitewashed her by, like, cutting off the noses of all her statues, but Cleopatra was Greek. Like, she was of a Greek line that went into Egypt because they felt superior to Egyptians. That's dumb. Yeah. She was one of the Ptolemies. Uh, I mean... Cleopatra was the first one to actually want to associate with just, Egyptians. Just, just, just further proof that, as gods, we have no fucking clue what goes on. Yeah. Anyways, I, 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 I'm keeping up with the Joneses and Cleopatra. You know, she, she's cool. Anyways, uh, uh, I'm just shaving Anubis's head. No pro. Wait. Oh fuck. Fuck. Uh, what are you doing, Hathor? Wepowit asked, raising a brow. Oh, I'm just shaving Anubis' head. No problem. Hathor shrugged, trying to get past... I'm okay with it. You know what I'm saying? Past Wepowit. I'll pay you if you don't shave him, Wepowit casually asked. You know you owe everyone money, right? Hathor asked. Eventually. What? Eventually. By the way, tell your husband Horace I said hi, he replied. That's not how people talk. <laughs> you don't go up to somebody and be like, Hey, tell your husband John I said hi. As opposed to your other husband. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, okay, I'll tell him. Bye, what, what, what? Hathor cheerfully exclaimed because she was getting money. He then let go of Anubis and watched him scramble to his feet. Well, see ya. Your cousin Horace is gonna... Fuck! You could <laughs> just say Horace! There's only one Horace! There's only one fucking Horus! No, there's, there's Horus Hathor and Horus Hathor. Or with two Horus R's. is gonna be happy I didn't shave you, Hathor grinned. The, she then went into the meeting. When Wepowet was sure she was out of earshot, she said, Well, that was uh, that was a rather strange uh, uh, conversation. <laughs> wait, I, I know what's wait, fucking going on. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is, this is the newest big line. <laughs> this is what's gonna get me to Hollywood. Go. That was a rather strange uh, conversation. <laughs> so just, you have to say it. Tell me about. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, folks. Anubis's first line is "Tell me about." Anubis muttered. They leaned against the wall, just thinking to themselves, drinking soda. Suddenly, Wepowet's eyes opened, widened. Widened to open. <laughs> then Wepowet suddenly thought, never leave Bastet alone. Bastet plus alone equals chaos. Wepowet motioned Anubis to follow him. Anubis knew it was serious, so Wepowet and Anubis sprinted to Bastet's room. Damn which straight. Took them, which took them ten minutes because it was a huge temple. When they were close, they heard a familiar voice, but not too familiar. Yell for his or her life. His or hers life. Wepowet and Anubis opened the door to find whatever his name is on the floor crying. His beetle head was very wrinkly, which made Anubis, Wepowet, and Bastet cringe. Bastet looked better than before, and she was standing next to the shivering body looking innocent. I kind of feel wait, sorry. Wait, I got it, I got it, I got this, I got this, I got this. I kind of feel sorry for whatever his name is. I don't remember what that happened to me! Anubis. It traumatized me very much! 
Anubis said, feeling his pain. <coughs> so that's how you develop the fear of Ra's daughters. Eh, hey, don't worry. Karma's a female dog, Wepowet said, nodding. Good times, good times. Bastet said, looking into the air, reminiscing. Wepowet was looking at the same spot in the air. What are you two looking at? Anubis said, confused. At my thought bubble, Bastet said, uh, replied, still memorized every thought. I see it, no! The beetle had got exclaimed. <laughs> what is every? Oh, yeah, that's you. <laughs> what is everyone staring at? There's nothing there! I mean, come on, people! You know what? Anubis angrily moved his arms where everyone was staring at. Okay! Oh, wait. That's uh, not me. What the fuck? Who's talk? Oh, what the way? Okay, we've all been staring at that thought bubble for a long time. Even though it's funny, we have to finish our game of... <laughs> Truth or dare! Wepowet exclaimed. Everyone nodded and went to the door. Not you, Beetlehead! Anubis, holy shit! Damn! Anubis, Wepowet, and Bastet said in, a, in unison. He nodded in fear of what they would do to him. Then he transported out of... What?! Fucking teleports! <laughs> out of Bastet's room! Beam me up! The, tra the, tra the trio casually walked out of the room and thought the exact same thought. Wait, is Horace in this? Yes, he is! Even though they are totally different, their brains connected for one second to say one thing from a game that is so very dear to them. Game on! That's chapter one. So Do you know what fucking happened? <laughs> no! Me fucking neither! I wasn't even in that. I'm so pissed. Alright, next. Let's see, who's in it though? Bastard and Uwe's Wepowet. Wep, 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 wep. Let's just say crazy stuff happened. Also, we're not reading chapter two. You said we weren't reading chapter two. You just said chapter one. We're just reading chapter one. Chapter two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Myths by Myths Rock. Uh... Author has written four stories for mythology, myths books, and Egyptian mythology. Your eyes have the sun and the moon in them. You're more precious than a gem spelled with a J. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Shippings I like. Rise of the Guardians. Jack X Tooth. Aster X Female Groundhog. Pitch X Willow. Santa X Miss Claus. They're married, come on. Uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Kitty plus Cats. Cajun Fox plus Bunny. Courage plus Shirley. Pop Tropica. Dr. Hera plus Black Widow. Binary Bard at times OC. What the fuck? Captain Crawfish times OC. Greek These Republican. are the weirdest fucking ship, like... Let's see what they ship us with. Bastet and me. Sekhmet and Ta. Hathor and Horus. Or Osiris and Isis. Set in... Uh, Nephesis. Wait, who's Sekhmet again? Uh, Sekhmet is... It's like Set, right? No. Someone. What, what's, what's yeah. Thoth's other name? And by Thoth, I mean me? I just, I, I'm, I'm talking about, like, the figure, you know, that they come up with, like, five different names for? You mean the Egyptian name or the Greek name? Okay, no, no, no. Uh, Sekhmet! Sek Sekhmet is the, 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 the blind. Oh. But Who Tehuti. Oh, Tehuti, yeah. Uh, uh, cats, like uh, Kung Fu Panda, Poex Tigress, Poex Song, that's two people, that's cheating. Crane X Mailing, I don't know, Shen X Feng Wang. Feng Wang. Feng Wang. Uh, Dear Members and Guests, I love every fanfiction I read in this site, hopefully like my fanfiction is going easy on Hold on! This person ships cryptids! El Chupacabra and Werecat Queen! Loch Ness Monster and Godzilla, the Jersey Demon, and the Princess of Earth Dragons. Jesus! Uh, signs that there really is a god for you, and here's your prayers. The little boy, the average of five, was run over two times. This by person's a car. He had, fucking he, description. He, he was with his mother walking than the out. Chapter we just read. Two cars crashed and started to slide next to the car's tires. Ran over the boy two times in the head after the boy was hit. He immediately stood went to check on his mother's mother. Boy had no broken legs or anything serious. There was a fire in Philadelphia. Was everywhere. Was a person who performed from God's way. Okay, but okay, never mind. Uh, um, 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 um. What, anyway, what is this? I don't know. But that was uh, that was Crazy Egypt Chapter One. I'm not sure if we're, we're ever gonna return to it, but we might at some point. I hope not. Probably will. Hopefully, no! we'll see you guys in the next episode of that.